Whoa, it's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Cows and snowy mountains. Look at that. Look at that. So, today's project, uh, I got a string of barbed wire fence from that fence down to here, which is, I don't know, about 400 feet. 400 feet. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting in my H braces, but they're, they're more Z, Z. ZH braces. So when I crank, so part of the deal is you got to get tension on your barbed wire, right? And so the tension will pull your, your fence posts. So you got to make it so they, uh, opposing forces, right? So they don't bend and come out and rip out of the ground because there's a lot of tension on it. So the first thing I got to do is put a, a brace on each end of the fence, running a straight line. And then I'll come in here and it's basically, it's basically so the cows stop destroying all my, my cover, my cover foliage, you know, keep the prying eyes out. Right. So it's going to come here. So I got to come in. The first thing I got to do is finish these two H braces. I get out the tractor. I'm going to string my first low piece of barbed wire down kind of gets you an idea this lo first low piece I'm going to string and then I'm going to start slamming in my uh whatever these things are called fence posts every like 10 feet or so because the fence the the wooden fence is eight feet on center but the uh the uh, barbed wire fence posts I think they're doing them 10 over here so 10 feet and once they're tense, the cows won't slip through because you can see they, they try, dude. That's their, that's their deal. They let, they are, whatever these, these bushes are, cow crack, dude. But, uh, so yeah, that's the plan. And then, um, I'll go up there. I'll hook my first thing on. I'll, I'll unspool it with the tractor, crank it down and then start setting these posts. And, uh, like 20 of them which means i'll be i'll be sore but the dirt's soft today so that's a win that's kind of why i'm doing it today is the dirt will be soft all right come on board dude all right if the wind's not too gnarly we got our other brace sat out here by the road the other brace is there now i gotta i gotta string some barbed wire barbed wire which means i better get my gloves out stuff will cut your hands if you're not careful but yeah you, i mean you can see dude look at how gnarly look at how gnarly the cows were that, that bush was like that all the way around it was like a super bush but this stuff we have some in the back grows super quick so it's probably like a uh, like a pruning cow pruning yeah look at them yeah they're just chilling today dude no trouble from the cows today Little do they know, their world's shrinking a little bit. All right, the wife just brought me a cup of coffee from the, uh, the local coffee shop, the Big Blue Bear, if you're ever in Kernville. I highly recommend going into the Big Blue Bear and getting yourself a, a nice cup of coffee. And if you're not in Kernville and you want to get some coffee, don't forget Bear Pelagic Bear. Fine, fine coffee, dude, supporter of this channel. Uh, I don't have the number in front of me, but you know how to find it. Anyway, so here we are, dude. We're about to uh, start stringing barbed wire. And um, I kind of jerry-rigged a classic little scene in the back of the Terra Cruiser. And look at that, dude. Gone country gone country but i'm still i was i'm listening to my punk rock i was doing this been listening to bad brains this morning so i made this this hoopty little barbed wire dispenser on the back right here i mean talk about that being hoopty we got the the wire connected there so i'm gonna run this one cross low one down to the bottom 
and tie it, not get it super tight, not even nail it in just to use as my reference line for the, uh, for the post. That way, if I don't get it done tonight, it's a lot of fence post banging, dude. It's just life is my gymnasium, dude, I guess. <laughs> life is my gymnasium. Oh boy. All right, so let's see if this, this works. It should. And I got my trusty gloves. Yes, I do have some leather gloves for the bar bar. All right. Look who's come to visit to see what's going on. It's Darla and Daisy. What's going on? Each little camera shy, Daisy. Daisy, that a girl. What's going on, Daisy? Ah, oh, like Darla's. Darla's always busy grazing, dude. Darla don't play. But there it is. So uh, my uh, my rig worked perfectly, dude. Fantastic. Look at that, dude. It worked fantasticals. So then I'm going to hook it to that one, fish it under there, and, and uh, string it up, dude, for the win. For the win. There's one magic ingredient you need. Because tools are where it's at. You gotta have a chain stretcher. So this thing basically grabs a hold of the train, the uh, the wire stretcher, not a chain stretcher, a wire stretcher. So this grabs a hold of it, and you it climbs up this chain right here, and it gets the uh, the wire nice and tight, so it's it's straight and it's running a true line. So as you can see, it's uh, I guess my car bumpers. It's a little bit lower there, but you can see it runs all the way down there. And that's my line to basically put my fence posts in and I mean, and uh, start pounding them in. So that's my next move is, is muscles, muscles. And uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty for, I think it's pretty good. I was about to get all like special and weird. And then I was like, why would I do that? I was like, I need to like, make sure the posts are lined up with the post on the other side so that they're optically aligned. If you're standing on top of that mountain there, you can see that they're in a parallel straight line. And then I was like, Dude, you're crazy. You need to just put them at every 12 feet and move on with this project. <laughs> Ooh, nutty, the, the nutty professor here. Ah, I'm gonna start slamming these things in right now. All right, I got the, I got the fence posts in. Not bad. For first go around some of them are a little bit high but I think what I'll do is before I tie them off I will uh, I'll just do a final like measurement on the uh, off of the one wire once I get it all taut is it it's pretty tight it just needs the like the move here but uh, yeah that's it we got all the fence posts in which was uh, no small challenge. So we're stoked. It, I'm glad the ground was soft. Glad the ground was soft, but now I can't find my wire, wire cutters, which is the whole main deal I need right now. So there it is, look at that. Bunch of these things. I just pounded them out, it took about an hour. Super stoked on the soft ground, that's for sure. All right, well, I don't know where my wire cutters are, man. I can't find them. It's a couple days later. I'm finished up. I got four strands here, and um, I'm going on, and I'm putting the little, little wire brackets here on there to uh, hold them to the fence posts. But, uh, yeah, I pulled it off, dude. Looks pretty good. I'm doing a little bit of like
the adjusting on it. And then um, I'm also putting these between the fence post just to keep them so you know you can't you can't pull them again so the so the old cows can't stick their head in there and uh force them open because you know cows will be cows they're just hanging out in the sun today super nice day here but uh yeah that's what's going on so we have this corridor here now because they were just thrashing on this stuff and it's interesting now i have i kind of want to do something in here and then you know as we we keep moving on the farm like this this zone right here i'm gonna make like a little mini orchard just like a little orchard in here plant some more trees in here i'm gonna put a bench here because i really dig the view right here kind of found my spot I want to hang so anyway that's where we're at we completed the uh the barbed wire fence I'm going to do one more across the front there to protect that and um I need like five more posts but uh besides that yeah look and you can you can see already look at this you know, there's already some some hair in there so uh they were in inquiring about their ability to get through the deal no anyways the illusion signing out from talons out ranch gonna get that salmon remember to use the name tags links down below i think i got some new i got some new t-shirts coming i just got to make some burn some screens for them and then we'll get those going and um yeah keep the frequency high support the channel links down below stay stoked Keep living the dream one step at a time.